back in the hotel room we just finished a really good breakfast it was like um an east meets west like breakfast buffet so they have like croissants and like eggs and bacon and like jam and stuff and they also have a kanji and like chai dan and uh chicken feet and oh it was so good yeah, now we have to pack because we just spent one night in this hotel because we actually booked an Airbnb. It's my first time Airbnb in China, so it'll be interesting. And we're going to see the marriage market today, which is like really interesting because my aunt really wants to go see it and I want to see it too. Kat is leaving on Tuesday, so we only have a couple more days, so like three more days with her. So yeah, let's pack. <laughs> Okay, everyone put their people's names on umbrellas. Look, their height and their weight. There's this whole tunnel full of people. I like how there's only. <laughs> I like how there's only like old people here too. Like none of the people who are actually looking to get married, or, like being put on here, like are here. It's just really cool. <laughs> After this tunnel, there's just like. Even more. It's like all over the park. Every aisle is just covered in umbrellas with people's names on them. I'm standing over here and like there's umbrellas and stuff like everywhere around me but I'm afraid to take videos of them because people keep yelling at me. But then like it's so interesting because this part right here, I'll do a quick tour. But that part right there is like, it's called the high whites y'all. So it's like all of the kids who are like foreign. So the ones who live in like Australia and like the US and Canada and stuff. And they're selling their kids in Shanghai to find them like a suitable pair. So like you can, there's like sections of the market that you can get married in. It's so interesting. Mom, would you ever sell me here? Really? <laughs> How old? How old do I have to be for you to sell me here? Wow, cover. It's too good. Oh my. It looks like every Chinese drama ever. Wow. A tai hall. Wow. What's this place? Oh, it's supposed to be the bedrooms. Okay, which room do you want? This is Lala's room. Yeah. I guess so. Wow. A tai hall. Can you see Oh, I feel like, okay, so Chinese kitchens, I feel like in TV shows I see, they're always really small. Because my mom's telling me that everyone in China just like eats out all the time. Which makes sense, because then that's why like a lot of the restaurants that we saw, there's just like single people in there. Like just one, one person in there. Just that one. Wow. Huh? <laughs> wow. Hi, <laughs> Do you see the bond? It's the whole river right there. It's so nice. And that's like the financial district. Wow, we're so high too. That's so scary. Wow. Good morning, everybody. Today is. Today's Sunday, anyways. And then today's our first day in the Airbnb. And I was showing you guys yesterday. I love it here so much. It's so pretty. I feel like it actually looks like even like those Chinese like reality TV shows where they like follow people around their houses. I feel like it's that. It's so nice. And then this is our view this morning. It's so pretty. Besides the spot. I'm waiting on Keba right now because we're going to go to Walmart. Mama's taking us because they went to Walmart. Or it's like, I, th I think Mama's is a real Walmart, but we went to a real Walmart for breakfast this morning. That's where we got all the food. So we just want to like look around and buy some stuff for lunch. One thing about China is like, the chips have super interesting flavors. Like, oh, here, Lay's seaweed flavor. We have tomato flavor, which is really good. Uh, black pepper barbecue flavor. What else? Lime flavor. 
It's super good. Oh, there's a ketchup flavor somewhere as well. The chips in China all taste like kind of sweet. So they have this like interesting sweet aftertaste, like the like barbecue kind of flavor, but they all have that flavor, which is interesting. We made it now. We're in like the like the famous area with like the bridge, and then like that's the financial center and stuff. So right there, there it is. The mama's over there right now. She's buying tickets for all of us to go out. at the fake market it's like um, this is the science and technology Shanghai stop on line two and then right, like that's the subway right there and then you just come in and right here is the fake market I've never been to this one before the place is pretty good not bad at all. It's pretty good. Good morning everybody. So today it is the next day in Shanghai and today is kind of fun because today this morning Kat left to go to the airport so my mom, my mama and like my cousins went to go with her and then uh, I'm walking right now on like the place that's by our apartment because I'm going downtown to visit a friend. He moved to Shanghai for full time so I wanted to go eat lunch with him because he's like one of the only people I know that's in town who's not from Michigan. So yeah, right now I'm headed to the subway. Line four? Is that right? Yes, that's what I need. Hello, so I just finished lunch and I wanted to like vlog what happened and just like tell you what happened because I didn't get to vlog much inside just because it was like super crazy and sweaty. It felt like super adult-ish because we were just talking about like network, not networking, like our careers and like I seem to talk a lot like uh, to him about like what I want to do in my life because he's like full time already and I'm just like an um, I'm just gonna be a senior this year, so I was asking him like how he likes living in Shanghai. It was like his dream to live here, and he was just basically saying like, "Don't worry, like you'll figure it out. Like nothing is really as glamorous as like you make it out to be." So just kind of, he said like, "Hedge your expectations." Now I'm just gonna walk home and see my mom and go do some work. So I need to catch up on emails and stuff for school. Cause like being in China is fun right now, but it's like a lot of work to stay on top of because everything like recruiting season is starting now and like I have to make sure I'm on top of like emails for like all these companies and like make sure that I'm setting up everything for my clubs this year so yeah but it's nice this area is super nice there's like small little shops everywhere this wouldn't be a bad life I don't think I'm showing Dan Dan and Sai Sai my videos and they said it's I don't know, they think it's good, but I don't think it's that good. And now they want to be in them too. Do you know how I'm showing them my vlogs right now. Mr. Mr. Dan. Mr. Dan. He's calling himself Mr. Dan. Dan Dan, how shy. so many people right now. I thought there would be less people because it's at night. But I guess everyone has the same idea as me. Just like they want to see all the things with all the lights. But it's like super cloudy today, so you can't really see anything. They're still crazy. Mama said the last time she came here was at like 91 before she left, or I mean, before she came to the US. This is this building. This is World War II. 
Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's true. So why is it famous? It's because of all. Oh. So it's that makes sense. Yeah.